My name is Dr Zoe Paskins and I'm a consultant rheumatology doctor at the Hayward Hospital here in Stoke-on-Trent. Osteoporosis is a condition which develops slowly over time where bones are weaker and they may be more likely to break after a minor bump or fall. If you look at this picture here, we can see we've got normal bone here on the left. This is inside the bone. And here we've got osteoporotic bone, where the holes are bigger and the bone is less dense and less strong. Osteoporosis doesn't give you any symptoms unless you break a bone. Not everyone with osteoporosis will break a bone, but broken bones of the wrist, hip and spine are more common in people with osteoporosis. If you do break a bone, it can lead to loss of independence, loss of confidence, feeling less well, and sometimes with difficulty with work, hobbies and self-care. In the spine, bones don't snap or crack, but they squash down and over time, and this can lead to problems with pain or sometimes curvature of the spine. There is no one single cause of osteoporosis and anyone can get it, man or woman, young or old. There are, however, some risk factors and these include having an early menopause if you're a woman, taking steroid tablets, smoking and some medical conditions. Osteoporosis can also sometimes run in families. It's good to know that you have osteoporosis because we can do something about it. There are some positive things that you can do yourself and these include doing weight-bearing exercises, not smoking or taking excessive alcohol and having a healthy diet. If you don't have too much in the way of dairy products in your diet, it may be that you might need calcium supplements. And also, uh, if you don't have too much in the way of sunlight exposure, it's possible you might need vitamin D supplements as well. Also, there are medicines that can be prescribed for osteoporosis, which lower the chance of future broken bones. And the most common ones are called bisphosphonates. You might be watching this video because you've been recommended an osteoporosis medicine. This might be because you've had osteoporosis diagnosed on a bone density scan, or it might be because you've broken a bone more easily than might be expected. And these broken bones are sometimes called fragility fractures. Also, it's possible that you've been recommended osteoporosis medicine because you've got risk factors for osteoporosis or for breaking bones. Bisphosphonates, which are the most common osteoporosis medicine, maintain bone strength and usually stop osteoporosis getting worse. They lower the chance of getting fractures in the future or broken bones. And this is why they play an important role towards maintaining independence and protecting your spine. It's important to note that osteoporosis medicines don't make you feel better or help with the pain of fractures. And you can't feel if your bones are getting stronger. Bisphosphonates are usually prescribed in tablet form that's most commonly once a week but they can also be given by injection. The tablets need to be taken in a particular way. You need to take them first thing in the morning on an empty stomach with a full glass of water and remain upright for at least half an hour after taking it. This is to lower the chance of getting indigestion type side effects. Also you need to wait that half an hour before you have your other tablets and your breakfast and this is to give you the best chance of absorbing the medicine to make sure it works properly. So I've already mentioned the indigestion side effects, um, which are probably the most common, although most people don't get them. Also, sometimes people get muscle or joint aches or pains, but these usually improve and go away after a couple of weeks. It's important to look after your teeth when you're on bisphosphonates and go to the dentist regularly. This is because there's a very rare dental side effect where there can be a problem with the jaw being slow to heal, usually after you've had a dental procedure. Finally, the last very rare side effect is of unusual thigh bone fractures, which are also um, very uncommon. So if we look at these jaw and thigh fracture side effects together, and we have um, a thousand people who take bisphosphonates, Less than one person in those 1,000 will get either of those side effects, which means that 999 people won't. It's usual practice to have a review a couple of months after you've started a bisphosphonate to make sure it suits you. If it doesn't, there are other options available such as injections. 
If the tablets do suit you, then the usual course of treatment is for at least five years. At five years, uh, there would then be a review about the benefits and risks and whether you could stop treatment at that point or whether you should continue taking it. There are no hard and fast rules about when bone density scans should be repeated. However, if you do break a bone or have an osteoporotic type broken bone when you're taking osteoporosis medicines, then this should normally trigger a review. The Royal Osteoporosis Society has got lots of helpful information on its website and it's well worth a look. There's also some information there for health professionals like GPs. We've pasted a link to this in the YouTube um, video description. Also, there is a link there for some information you can share with your dentist if you need to. So finally, I just want to say, remember that living with osteoporosis is not a life sentence by any means and there are lots of people there to help and support you.